Imagine this. You take one last breath, and then nothing. No air in, no air out. The clock starts ticking. Three minutes. That's all it takes to decide whether you live or fade into silence. In the first few seconds, your lungs wait like engines stalled. Oxygen stops flowing. Carbon dioxide starts to rise, whispering danger. Your brain screams, breathe, now. One minute in, your chest burns, your body begs for air. People think it's lack of oxygen that makes you desperate, but the truth, it's the poison of carbon dioxide building up, suffocating you from the inside. Two minutes, your vision tunnels, sparks dance at the edges. Neurons in your brain, the hungriest cells in your body, begin to flicker like dying light bulbs. Three minutes, the tipping point, brain cells start to die, consciousness slips, the heart still fights, pumping what little oxygen is left, but the body is running out of time. But here's the twist. If air rushes back now, the story can flip. Lungs expand, oxygen floods in, and life claws its way back from the edge. Every breath you take is a fragile deal with the universe. Three minutes without it, and you're standing at the doorway between life and death.